are you doing? Oh, I was indulging in uh, obsessive compulsive behavior patterns. It's a long standing problem of mine. Oh, and what prompted this episode? A recurrence of a uh, little known phenomenon called uh, frozen pipeitis, which uh, manifests itself uh, as an overwhelming desire to check the pipes of one's nearest and dearest. <laughs> so you're here to check my pipes? Haven't you noticed? It's cold outside. Well, it was very cool of you to light a fire. I hope you'd like it. Me? No, I'm not, not worried. Mm. Yes, you are. I can see it in your eyes. And whenever you worry, you always let out those tiny little sighs. <laughs> that was only partially true. I know you're better. I know, but you don't believe that I'm completely better yet. And that's okay, because I'm not. You know, I'm working on it. All I have to do is just be really careful, and when feelings come up, I have to face them, and I have to be truthful with myself. My therapist thinks I'm making progress, too. And she's paid to be cautious. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're seeing Gail. Her advice and support must feel like money in the bank to you. I wish. I could use a little money in the bank right now. See, I'm getting a little better. I have a little sense of humor going on. Listen, why don't you let me help you? It's really not a problem. No, Jax. You know how much I appreciate you offering. But if I let you bail me out of this, it'll totally defeat the purpose. Okay. So, did you hear that Lucy's grooming a new model? Yeah, I heard something. Does it bother you? Shouldn't. That wasn't the question. Right. Well, you know, it makes me a little sad and a little jealous. But, um, it's gonna be a big load off my shoulders, so I think it'll be okay. Stop looking at me so worried, please. <sighs> I have to go for... I have to go away for a week or two, Brenda. Oh, Jax. I'm so glad you just said that. I've been waiting for you to say that you're going to go away somewhere beautiful and peaceful. We don't have to worry about anything else but taking care of yourself. You were trying to get rid of me. Well, if it means you taking a trip and not worrying about me anymore or anyone else, then you're right, I am. It's not that I'm opposed to a vacation, just not this time. I've been called into service by my family. Your dad didn't have another heart attack, did he? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just, uh, it's Jerry. Again. Oh. As usual. Wait, wait, let me guess. He's lost. This is somewhere between the Peruvian mountains and Borneo. Borneo? Yes, it's, uh... As far as I could gather, it seems to have something to do with the genuine fountain of youth. You're kidding, right? Uh, did I mention it's my brother we're talking about? I know, but come on. The fountain of youth. Right, so it's possible that he's not lost at all and has simply regressed. Right, so how seriously are you really taking this? I'm giving it the weight it deserves. Well, I suppose one of these times he might really be lost, right? Uh, no, Jerry's indestructible. And as far as extra lives are concerned, he's got cats beat by a mile. But Lady Jane frets, so I volunteered to look for him. Will you be careful? Now he's worrying. Just say it. I'll, I'll be careful. Worrying about me while you're gone. I want you to focus on yourself because I can handle things here. I can. You know, as soon as I really faced how I really felt and got truthful with myself, it just seemed like Sunny and... All those bad memories stopped coming at me. Or maybe I just stopped running. I didn't really tell you still what happened the other night that kind of changed stuff. You know, I really, really hit bottom. And the photo shoot wasn't bottom. It wasn't anywhere near. It was just the beginning. I was here by myself and um, I was going to do something really awful. Because I just hated myself so much, you know? And I just thought if I could destroy myself, then maybe no one would ever hurt me again. And then maybe I would stop hurting people that I love so much. But I don't know if something happened. This feeling just kind of welled up inside of me. It was like this power, and I just stopped. 
and I just, I knew I had to go somewhere, and I wasn't even sure where it was, so I just left. And, uh, I ended up at Lily's grave. I mean, Lily and I weren't exactly friends, but, um, you know, I never wanted her dead. Well, that goes without saying. I know, but it's, it's just that I never visited her grave before. I never took her flowers, nothing, and I did it. I went there and I took her these red and white roses and then I talked to her and it was kind of like I could feel her there but it wasn't really her presence it was just like this wisdom that came over me I mean I realized me and this girl couldn't be any more different but we were totally interchangeable I mean I could have been the one who was laying in that grave and I'm not <laughs> I mean, I'm alive. Forget what problems or, or hurt I have. I'm alive. And I just decided right then that I just wanted to live. I am so grateful to have you in my life. What put that on? I'm just trying to concentrate on the good things in life now instead of drowning in the bad. And since the day I met you, you've been at the top of the good stuff list. So, thank you for being my friend. Right back at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All my numbers, she knows how to get a hold of me. So don't hesitate to call, okay? Maybe you could check in, you know, just every once in a while, if it's not too much trouble. I will. You're gonna be all right. Yeah. I am. See you.